Hey, it's Dee here. Before we get to watch our video, I just want to put a little disclaimer out there on this. This was me talking to Timmy about he wants to lose some weight and he's at school and he wanted his privacy intact and I have to respect that. So you will not see Timmy in this video. You will hear him. He is right behind the camera and he answers the questions. So, you know, it's just how he wanted it. And I had to respect that. I, I respect people's privacy. People have a right to their privacy. So I thought it was still fun to do. I think you'll still get a lot of information. This is something I enjoy doing. And this is the kind of coaching that I want to do. So if you enjoy this video, I hope you do. Let me know in the comment section below. But let's get to that video, shall we? And buckle up for Tim. Hey, it's time to dish with D. That's me. Thank you for clicking on this video and making yourself a priority. I am Denise. This is a special video today. This is a video that you guys have been asking for, you've been wanting. It's a little bit different. I'm going to say we're doing this um, for the sake of someone's privacy. You're not going to see them, but you're going to hear them. And we're going to do a coaching session with my son. Say hi. Hello. There he is. Uh, so we're going to go over a few things with him. He's looking to lose some weight. Aren't we all? <laughs> so I'm going to um, go over his day and what is available to him. He lives at school. So he doesn't have control over the foods. So we're going to see what good things we could help him out with to make at least better choices. Not always the greatest choices, but sometimes we just need to make, obviously we need to make better choices. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, Tim, how's breakfast look when you go down? <clears throat> so, you know, we have hot breakfast twice a week. Um, you know, so there's always hot breakfast, again, you know, twice okay, a week. Okay, what's hot breakfast include? Um, oatmeal. Uh, the day. Well, there's always, there's always oatmeal. Uh, There's no every eggs, day. Uh, the bacon sometimes we usually have like uh, like a hash or whatever. Uh, well, sometimes they do something fancy with the eggs. Um, uh, French toast sometimes. Um, okay, instead yeah, of instead yeah. of going over what's here, I'm going to say, is there fresh fruit available? Yeah. Is there? There's always eggs available, right? Yep. Now, is there hard boiled eggs or just like? Bo uh, wait a minute. Uh, I think both. I, can't remember I know some places they always have like hard boiled eggs or you can have eggs to order or a big vat of scrambled eggs. Yeah, and for lunch and dinner, there's always hard boiled eggs because of uh, the salad section. In the salad. Okay, is there um, yogurt yeah. available every day? Yeah, like Greek yogurt. Do they have like toppings like granola? Yeah, uh, granola. Okay. Um, you have like cinnamon. Yeah, breakfast stuff, I forget okay. exactly what they have. Okay, so what I would suggest now, I, if I were you, you know, I would suggest alternating every day what you eat i mean there's you know like you don't want to get tired of anything and if you keep i mean even though like for me i love overnight oats like nobody's business but it can get old and we don't want to take it old so like i would definitely suggest maybe having a little yogurt since it's high in protein since it's greek i would suggest having now you should not just free pour your yogurt no, I mean, yeah of course that's what you always eat. you're a man i would suggest maybe do they have like little cups or do they have like soup bowls? Um, they come in cups. Like, and is it already uh, in a Oikido container? Brand, or whatever the brand's called. Oikos? Yeah, Oikos. So they're in containers right, then? Yeah. Okay, so how many of those containers do you usually have? One. Okay. You said, so you're not free pouring your yogurt then? No. Okay, well, that's good. It's portion control. You free pour the, the, uh, the Okay, the toppings. Okay. And so, the honey I put on. Right. Now, you said the honey comes in packets. Correct. Okay. So what I would do is maybe, you don't know how much granola you're putting on there. Granola is, you know, it's a good thing, but it's a fat. So I wouldn't really just have at it. I would sit there and make sure maybe at the most, because you're only having a cup of, of that yogurt, I would say maybe at the most have three tablespoons of granola. Now, if you're not gonna know what that is because you don't have measuring devices. So I'm sure there's, um, do you have utensils, like a Correct. spoon? Yes, you so do you have a tablespoon there? Yeah. Okay, well I would grab a tablespoon and I would sit there and that's how I would measure it. The it's, spoon that they have for the granola is like a big spoon. Yeah, you don't wanna use that so one. Get small spoon. I would get a small spoon and put in three tablespoons of granola. Now, if you like fruit, 
you could top it with fruit and I, I would say one packet of the honey it's probably a teaspoon would be my and usually pack it's a one i think you were using two i was using two yeah i would use one you know you want to keep that you know sugar level level so also you want to pair that with a grain Do, is there um toast available yes okay you can have a piece of toast toast is not the enemy i wouldn't have like five pieces of toast but with you if you're just having the yogurt maybe you could have um if you want to have some eggs on the side and one piece of toast would be an option you know, I would definitely like amp up your protein for uh, breakfast. Does it matter what kind of toast? Does it matter what kind of toast? All right. Yeah. Uh, with I just say like they like if they have scrambled eggs, they have you know like uh, you, you can use scrambled eggs. Yes, you absolutely can use scrambled eggs. I wouldn't have a vat of scrambled eggs. You know, y you should be eating two eggs at breakfast. So you'd have to figure out what two eggs looks like. And I would sit there and say with you, I would think a cup of eggs would be fine. Okay. You know, just. And they also have um, trays of pastries like dishes. No, I would not have any pastries. Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, no. Now, if you want something sweet, go for the fruit, a banana. And if you want to take yeah, the yeah, second bananas. packet of honey, you could drizzle it on the banana. Or you could put a little, you have peanut butter. Yeah. yeah peanut yeah. butter is great to have with a banana. It's more protein. So you tell me I can't have my juicy, delicious. No, you um, can't have your juicy, bun. delicious cinnamon bun. Here's the thing. Not every day. If you want to treat yourself maybe two days a week, to a breakfast treat, then you should do that. I don't think, and again, people, you know, varies with everybody. I don't think you should be having sweets every day. I mean, I think, do you find you get used to the sweets like you don't appreciate them or you still think they're delicious and delicious? No, uh, what you said the first time. Yeah, you get used to it. You get sick of it, yeah. really sick of it, but, but it's, like it's not like, as exciting. Right, exactly. right, right. You want to look forward to that dessert. So I would say two days a week. You pick the two days. Maybe one will be a weekend. Uh, for dessert in general. For the breakfast dessert. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get, we're going to get, you're going to get another day of regular dessert. I think, yeah. I think you could stand it. You're my pie. All right, you're in your pie. All right, what do we have for lunch options? So there's a, um, a luscious salad bar. Um, which is nice, um, but again, I'm not a salad eater. I prefer to, you know, not like. I mean, like I prefer to have soup with salad, but we have both. So we have a, a big salad bar. There's usually homemade soup, um, and then they have a sandwich bar uh, where you can get you know, like um, like lunch meat with, with with different options of sauce. Do you make your own sandwich, or do they make it for no, you? No, a lady's there. A really nice lady makes okay. it. So you also could get. Um, they have soup. They have salad, and they have deli selections. Correct? Correct. Do they ever have like a hot item? Yes, there's like a specialty sandwich that they'll give out. Okay. So my suggestion would be, you're a young guy, you're active, so there's nothing wrong with having you having a sandwich. I mean, you know, with a cup of soup. I mean, granted, you're talking sodium on those two items, which I don't think right now you have an issue with sodium. So I'm not worrying about that. I, you know, now when you make your sandwich, I would love you to put lettuce in there tomato in there, maybe cucumber, vegetables. Bulk up your sandwich so your sandwich is really nice and big. So it looks like there's more meat in there than there really is. And absolutely have a slice of cheese. I wouldn't have five slices of cheese, but I think so it's- Light on the cheese? Yeah, light on the cheese. Definitely have it, but just don't have a crap ton of cheese. Right. And that is a measurement here, just with D. Um, so definitely, yeah, you could have a soup. If you want to have a side salad, there's nothing wrong with that. I wouldn't have a dessert with lunch. They do offer desserts at lunch too. Yes. Yes, I would. If you now, here's day. the thing: if you, if you don't have the breakfast dessert, say you, you it's your day to have it, you decide you don't want it, then maybe the lunch dessert looks good. Maybe you could throw it in there instead. Mm -hmm. But if you're not, if you're having the breakfast, that's your dessert for the day. Okay. So I think we've ironed out a good lunch plan for you. Okay, now how about... Well, um, so like, are there any uh, limitations on the sandwich? One sandwich. Like, and the soup. And soup. What if the soup's not good? Like sometimes they have this, uh, this, uh, this bean soup, which I can't stand. Salad. Okay, all right. Um, do good. they have any like side items that you can get? Like the applesauce or... Chips. Cottage what? cheese? No. No, like like chips. I mean, well, no, are the chips I mean, pre-bagged? The chips, yeah. They're, yeah. so they're, they're in a bag. Yeah, bag. So every once in a while, yeah, there's nothing wrong with having a bag of chips as long as you stick to one bag. Have you ever grabbed more than one bag of chips? Yeah, a few times. Oh, I, I kind of knew the answer to that one. So yeah, I would definitely, because you're a young guy, I think you could do with a bag of chips. Now, do they have a variety of chips or just just, just one brand? Yeah, like two or three uh, any kinds. Baked, it depends on the day. Any baked Sometimes kinds? Sometimes not baked. It's baked is better. Know, yeah. So I'll usually grab the baked. Yeah, if you have a salad. baked, that, well, that would be helpful. I mean, not, I mean, but you know, every once in a while, a regular chip, something wrong with that. Okay. 
Um, well, uh, what about the sauce in the sandwich? It doesn't really matter. Just well, you're trying to like mayonnaise or mustard. Mayonnaise, honey mustard. Or, or some, I, mean, I like was thinking like mayonnaise, which I love. Well, you could say if now if you wanted to do this, I would say put it on the side and you just put a little. Sm would she do it lightly if you asked her for a light? Like, yeah, she would. Well, that's what I would do. I mean, I wouldn't say no, but say light or on the side. And you could spread it on yourself if you wanted. I would do that, but I'm a girl. You're, you're, you're going to want it done for you. So you definitely say light on. <laughs> oh, God me. bless you. you. Light on the light on that. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, okay. about dinner. So dinner, there's a s small version of a salad bar, but again, I mean, usually there's always a, a like meat, a carb, and a vegetable. Typical meal. And. But there's not that many options at dinner. Right. So if I don't go out, which I tend to do a lot. Right. Um, uh, there they usually always have, you know, that option. There's like one type of meat you can choose from. One type of starch, whether it be like, I mean, usually they have rice a lot. Right. Uh, sometimes. White they, rice uh, or brown rice? I think they switched to brown because oh, okay. I think they did because of health. Um, and then they had the, uh, the vegetables. Okay. So um, now how big is a portion of, of meat? protein that you would get maybe like one or two pieces no but what's what's the size of that they have in the in the thing would you say okay yeah, it's, it's a, I, I look for meat but that big. well does, is it coming usually in a sauce yes, yes okay yeah. so with you being a man i would say you can take two pieces of that do you, how many do you usually take only two a one or two sometimes okay it depends on what it is three if I'm hungry, okay well i would say i know like it looks good i'll take three but okay. no, no right. three two right sometimes two right. and i definitely would take the vegetable of course and remember with any vegetable any kind of vegetable i don't care what it is you could free pour that i don't care if it's corn i don't care if it's peas whatever vegetable they have so you can, unlimited unlimited vegetables now just so you know timmy's not going to use a tracking app he's choosing not to so we're doing this as um, mindful eating or um, intentional eating, or what is that other word <laughs> I was looking for? Um, yeah, because it's intentional. Um, so, oh, the starch. So whatever starch they have, like whether it be rice. Now, do they ever make a pasta? Yeah. Do they have like a cheese yeah. sauce or a marinara? Do you know? Yeah, like mac and cheese sometimes. Like mac that, and cheese. I so I definitely would have like a cupful. You know, a, a cup. You know, two, which is really called two ounces. You could probably have a little, like a heaping cup, but don't make it into two cups. So it doesn't matter what kind of starch, just one cup yes, of starch? Yes, yes. One, one to one and a half, because you're a guy, I think you can handle it. Because we're going to get to the next part of it. Now, is there dessert offered at every dinner? Yeah, uh, lunch and dinner, yeah. For okay. part. So, sometimes it's good, sometimes it doesn't. Depends. Now, here's the thing. I want you to have a dessert at dinner two days a week, but not on the same two days you have the breakfast dessert. So if you're having breakfast dessert on Monday and Wednesday, maybe Tuesday, Friday, you have dinner dessert. And just one of those desserts. Because sometimes I think my boy helps himself to more than one dessert. So one of the other guys. Yes. And don't get the biggest piece on the thing because you're only having it once in a while. You grab a normal size piece. Okay. So you're having dessert four times out of seven. Just depends on what now like i said if you want to swap your morning for your dinner that's up to you so we have breakfast we have lunch we have dinner and then um oh, what about in terms of going out to eat like you saturday nights i'll go out okay well, friday well friday and saturday night, as you okay go so out if you go dinner. out to eat um what what my hope is i would hope what i would love for you to do which i don't think is possible is i would love for you not to go out for a couple of weeks because I feel like once you get used to eating less, it's easier to eat less. I don't want you to be throwing that, you know, because when you go to this restaurant, you're going to get this huge portion of food. You know, because that, you know, when you go out to certain places, they just give you a huge portion. Unless you're going to a really like fancy schmancy place and they don't, which is fine. But, you know, yourself, you go to an Italian, you're getting way more pasta than you really should eat. Now, I guess I would, would want you to say, do you always need an appetizer? No, you don't. If your entree is coming with a salad, that should be your appetizer. But if you want to split an appetizer with somebody, that might work out better than having your own appetizer and your own entree. Would Caesar salad work as a good appetizer? Yeah, sure, any kind of salad. I mean, I'm not going to quibble over croutons and dressing. You're a young guy. Yeah, because I like Caesar salad. Yeah, Caesar salad, nothing wrong with that. I mean, I would prefer to just say dressing on the side, but I think you're good for I don't think we're at that point where you have to be that diligent. I think you're young enough and your metabolism is good enough that I think we just tweak a few things. 
Um, so yes, I would share an appetizer if you can. Um, if your entree comes and it looks like way too much, um, I hope you would, this is what I would do. I would ask for a box right away and put some of it away and then just eat some. I don't know if that's something you would consider doing. I mean, especially when you're going out to a pasta dinner where you've got a pound and a half of pasta on that plate and that's way too much. And you know, should you treat yourself to a big meal once in a while? Sure you should. But you just can't do it too often where it doesn't become special anymore because this is part of how I live. And I really, you know, I want to encourage the once, like I said, once you start getting the normalcy of how portions should be, and eat, you won't be as hungry. Will you be hungry the first couple weeks? Sure you will. Will your stomach be growling? Sure it will. Is that normal? Sure it is. So you just have to remember that, you know, drink plenty of water during the day. If, if you're hungry, before you grab food, grab your water. Because sometimes you're just thirsty and you're just dehydrated and water is always good. Water is filling. Now, do you have options to have snacks during the day? Do they have food down there if you wanted like a piece of fruit during the day? Yeah, they do is have nuts and stuff. And nuts are good snacks. Um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with, I definitely recommend if you, if you apples. feel you need it, a mid-morning snack and a mid-afternoon snack. Like again, not a lot. Like maybe, now are the nuts in packages or are they just in a bowl? In a bowl and you, yeah. Okay, so I would say, I'm gonna show you what a half a cup of nuts looks like. And that's what I will want you to have a half a cup. I mean, for us, it's a quarter cup, but I think for him, I think he could afford a half cup. And it, it even you don't even if you feel that's even too much, you don't have to finish it. And for the banana, like say you take yeah. a banana, how much pe uh, the peanut butter should? Do you, you have like little packets? Both. We have. I think it depends. Um, the tablespoon. The I know that. A tablespoon. A tablespoon with one banana. And you have apple. You could do the apple with the peanut butter. Dipping it in there is good as well. Um, I just suggest fruit. I, I mean, they don't, you know, I'm sure they don't have any vegetables out there you can snack on. Or is the salad bar still around? No, uh, no. Oh, so you could have, a, you grab a couple hard boiled eggs, it's always good. Protein is really where, you know, where you want to, some fatty and some protein snacks would be a little bit more satiating to you. So we have breakfast, lunch, dinner. In terms of, say, you go out, that's my biggest problem right. is going out. You know, like, mm -hmm. you, uh, I love some that you fall into that. A problem that it's just oh, since they're going out, it's on a free game, but right. yeah, that's and uh, that was my problem working on this last year, right? Well, sometimes um, you look forward to going out because the food's not so great at school, right? So, the, you can't wait to go get just to the say that you know, you drink, um, you know, like say that I have a, a before dinner drink, right? Then I and then you go for wine, I like, say, like, start with a Manhattan and then you go for wine. Um, you shouldn't have maybe one more glass of wine, I guess. Like, well, say, like, if I choose to have the Manhattan, I shouldn't not have... Well, I, w I, w I mean, uh, if, if it's just a once-a-week thing, I always suggest any adult beverage, I would have two. two. I allow myself two adult beverages um, when I'm out because, you know, you're young, you're at that age, so there's nothing wrong with that. But I wouldn't do more than two, especially if you're driving. <laughs> I thought you didn't drink that. No. I don't, but I allow my, if I On the cruise, I did. You know, but I yeah. normally, unless I, like, we went to the winery, I had a sangria, I only had one, but I, 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 if I'm going to have, a, to an event where there's, you know, it's flowing and I really want one, I'll allow myself to have two. But you won't drink Manhattan. But I don't, oh, no, I don't like Manhattan's. Oh, okay. Anyway. So we them. So if you want, also, if you wanted to, like, um, we could make you, uh, like, a care package for you to have in your room of snacks, like bars and yeah, stuff. Yeah, right? We could, uh, send me them. <laughs> We get like this way you have like granola bars are always good little individual packs of nuts are always good Of course, they're not it's not a half cup of nuts, but I mean sometimes just grabbing one or the other I mean, I wish you yeah, could just keep quirky you take with you right you can take it with you. So okay, so we have your food laid out All right, so um, now exercise. we're gonna talk about activity right. now. You're a young guy. You should be very active now You were saying that you I mean I there's definitely should be one day of complete rest where you don't do anything is always a good idea and it's always good to alternate if you can different activities like Timmy has a bike that he has up at school um, he also has a gym they have a pool so he's got a lot of choices to, to choose from what do you like to do I want to do I mean what I don't like doing is doing the same exercise over and over like repetitive. Like it's boring so like, because I do like to exercise, I just don't do the same thing. Right. So I'll, as I'm thinking about my this plan, I'm thinking about maybe um, a little a little mixing, you know, like a hour long walk mm -hmm. um, for one activity. Uh, I'm not just walking, but doing like a power walk. Right. 
I'm not, I mean, I, I consider taking up running, but we'll see how this goes. You have Maybe to work I, up to that. Yeah, you got to work up to that. But uh, you also could try weights. Right, well, right, right. So while you walk. I'm thinking about so a couple times a week. Uh, maybe do like a long walk. Uh, one day I can go to the gym, play basketball for mm-hmm. an hour, an hour and a half, whatever. Because that's again, like you're running back and forth. <clears throat> um, uh, again, I have the bike, so you, uh, you go for like a bike ride. Mm-hmm. And and there will be a few days where I, like I will, and maybe like a day where I'll go to the gym and just do weights. Right. And then um, yeah, do more of the walking. So let's say Monday I could do, um, I guess. Uh, the basketball, mm-hmm. and then you have Tuesday. You could do the walk. That's right on this down. Do you take any pre-workouts or anything? No, no. I don't think you work out. I mean, no, no, no. no I'm not a gym rat. I right. just want to just get moving. That's right. what it is. I don't want to be buff. Right. I want to be healthy. Wednesday, uh, we could do extra um, weights. I'll say Thursday for some reasons. I'll take a rest. I definitely would have your whenever um, you're at your exercising extra. I would definitely have your snack afterwards. Or, After. Unless unless you think you need it before. Unless you're, it depends on what time it is. And don't have too fatty of a snack before right. workout because you want to have energy. So like a nice, good, healthy carb. We could find one. We could find one there. Um, Friday I can do the bike. Saturday. Was there I any machines in the gym? Yeah, uh, but that's it's it's a long story how to get to that part of the gym. It's uh, not open. Right. Sunday I could be rest or whatever, maybe yeah. do a shorter walk. Um, you mentioned the pool. Yeah, there's a pool, mm-hmm. so I could open maybe in the winter time use the pool in place of the bike ride, for example. Right. You know, switch some things around. Right. This pool's open all year round. Correct. Yeah. Is it heated? It's supposed to be, but. Uh-huh. So yeah, I mean, this is just a sketch. I mean, we also could tweak all these, and you can see like maybe you you can come up with other ideas, or see what works, what doesn't, what fits in, what doesn't. And um, the the biggest thing is is staying on your on your plan that we've made, right. and don't feel sorry for yourself. And don't feel like I'm not eating. You're eating. You're you know. We have to remember that we ate too much. We ate too much. So. This is, you're going to be eating normally where you're going to feel like you're starving. Trust me, I tell you, you're not starving. You're just eating what you're supposed to be eating. I mean, we could be more diligent if you wanted to, you didn't want to track. You could be more accurate that way. You, you may get more, you may get less. It all depends. Like I said, we don't know what you're eating. We're just trying this one first. And if it, maybe if we don't have success, maybe we could look into maybe getting you an app where you can track your macros and your calories if you wanted. Mm-hmm. If you find you're, you know, you're, I'm doing right. all this and nothing's happening. The scale's not budging. I would recommend that you, um, before we start, you, you get on the scale. You, I wouldn't do some measurements just to see because sometimes we tone and we don't always see it on the scale. But you'll see like, oh, my stomach went down, my chest went down, my heart, you know, or you're building muscle. So I, I would like to see you take a few measurements of yourself. So just for your own, not for me, just for your own peace of mind, you can see that and, you know, make a little chart and every like maybe eight weeks, take more measurements. And cause like I said, sometimes we, we don't see that, you know, I got on the scale two weeks in a row, I didn't lose, but you're doing all this activity and you are, you know, seeing results in other areas, but it doesn't always show on the scale. Right. So that's something that I would, do you have any questions? Yeah, I think I'm good. It's, you know, trying to find your, um, your style of doing this right like, and that's, own you're style. creating your journey and, and everybody's journey is different like for example i love dessert i like i like to eat, to eat just about controlling it right it's, you know, kind of some people lose the weight to give up carbs and and i know people who lose weight because they give up desserts well right. i love i love to manja the pasta and i love to manja the dessert well, you're being true to who you are. Exactly. And, and that's the big it. thing that we always say here. You have to know who you are because you're always going to love those things. And if you sit there and say, I'm never going to have them again, what are the odds? And I don't want him binging on these things because he's not having them. So if we fit them in in a controlled, disciplined way, he's still having them. He's just not having as much. And maybe you'll look forward to eating that special treat, that special dessert yeah. on that day. You'll get excited about it. And that's what I want. I want you to get excited. Like you might look forward to eating because you're, you're, when you're truly hungry, like when you're eating so much, you're never really truly hungry because you're always just feeling that. 
And there's nothing wrong with your stomach growling. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, we're not used to because we're used so much, we feed ourselves so much, we don't even know what hunger, true, true hunger feels like because we're always eating it. But you'll see what true hunger is like. And no, you're not starving. And no, you're not in a third world country. You know, because you're just not having your seconds and your thirds. And occasionally, guess what? You can have a second. You know, when you get things under control where you can control that second portion and not have as much, you'll see that you could fit that little bit extra in and not go crazy because you might go up there and just be like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have more, I'm going to have more. And it's, you'll designate a day that you want to get weighed and that's up to you what day it is. People, everybody chooses different days. Now, I just don't want you to have that after you weigh in that day to be like, okay, I don't get weighed until like next Monday, so I'm going to eat my face off today. That just, it's just everything you've built and you've learned goes in the toilet because your body's like, oh my gosh, old Timmy's back and I'm going to eat my face off. And that's what you don't want. You don't want to yeah, relive happened, that. Yeah, that's what happened before. That's what happens before. Because I said, oh, look, I lost three pounds. Now. Yeah. And I think I know. It. Oh, it's back. It's back. And it comes back with, with friends. <laughs> Always with friends. So, all right. Well, we got a nice little plan going here. I will keep you updated on his progress. And I let's all wish him luck. Thank you for doing this today, son. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know with a big old thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Join us here. These are things I'm thinking of getting into. Um, if you're interested in a, in a private coaching session, this is the kind of coaching that I think I want to do. So if this is something you might be interested in, let me know in the comment section below and I will dish with you another day. Goodbye for today, my lovelies.